or it can be a nightmare. Well, there's a gentleman that works with HSN who I have already coined as being the number one the number one presenter of products like this. He does demonstrations that are so seamless because he wants to educate you. His name is John Florell, and he is here with a product that is on sale, which I don't even believe is, I'm gonna say it's $19.95, because it should be something like $40 or $50, and it's such a great product. Please welcome John Florell. Hello. I was just telling one of our show writers how much I enjoy watching you because you teach me so much. This is called the Kitchen Master, and so is he. But it's the Kitchen Smart, ma the Kitchen Master Smart Grater Four-in-One Slicer Shredder, and for under twenty dollars, it is on two flex payments for nine ninety-eight. I don't believe we're marking it down. I know. So tell us <laughs> so, all about well, it. I'll tell you what's best. Uh, the best part about this is this safety holder. Uh, we've all used knives, graters, slicers, choppers. Uh, we have all kinds of kitchen tools uh, at our disposal in the kitchen, and this one has a razor sharp. Blade. But you see, if you've ever slipped on one of these old four-sided tin can knuckle busters, <laughs> okay, yes. yeah, you slip on one of those, you end up losing a nail <laughs> or a knuckle. Well, that's the best part about this is it comes with its own finger protector. There's five stainless steel pins inside. They hold the food, you hold the holder. Now, there's a free-flowing plunger button on top. That feeds the vegetable, fruit, meat, or cheese down through the blades. So the way this works, you, whether you put, the, uh, put it over the, its self-contained bowl or you use it on your countertop, or tabletop, all you do is slide the vegetable across that razor sharp stainless steel blade and every slice comes out perfect and uniform and it ends up right in the, its own tray. Now when you get down close to your fingers, you don't want meat in your potatoes. No. So you Ooh. use that safety holder. Yes. You, when you press the fruit or vegetable up inside the cup, the bot that button pops up and then as you're slicing through your vegetable, fruit, meat or cheese, you just push ah. down on the button and that feeds it down to the end so you don't waste Look. anything. And with no waste this is and the no most fingers. Inventive <laughs> I mean, look at this. Of a slicer, because this is replicating the work that a mandolin does that professional chefs Every use. Every slice which are comes very out dangerous. perfect. Yes. So for pan fries, home fries, or raw fries, cottage fries, American fries, whatever you want to call them, they're going to fry up evenly because they're all sliced evenly. You see, when you slice with a knife, you end up with one thick slice, then you get a thin slice, then you get your finger sliced you know <laughs> okay, with a knife. Or, you but with this machine. This in green, black, red or white. I'm just gonna tell you that John is here for this presentation, and if you want it, there are 3,400 at the sale price of 1995. Keep the tears in your eyes when you're <laughs> right. onions and use this Look at kitchen master to do all the work. If you've ever tried to slice a red ripe tomato with a knife, you know how tough that is because nobody seems to have a knife sharp enough. But look at this. Every slice comes out perfect and uniform. I'm going to put these up here on the tray and I want you to notice something. I never throw those end pieces out. Okay, that last little piece there. You tuck uh -huh. that under and serve the whole thing. Hey, when tomatoes go up to three bucks a pound in the winter time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll tell yeah, you. Most people but, throw the end piece and away. Watch this too because this slice now by the way I showed you the t potatoes I showed you the tomatoes if the only thing you'll ever use this machine for is slicing onions it's worth a buck a finger just for the onions alone Absolutely. I, mean, I mean look at that for the flex pay at what 998 <laughs> yeah. that's a buck a finger that's a, for $9.98 <laughs> I mean, instead of slipping on one of these things making or cutting a, yourself with a knife making a chopped salad will never be this yes. simple and never. it's so, so simple to do but all these slices come out the same so for sauteed peppers and onions steak and onions liver and onion, potatoes and onion, they'll all fry up evenly because they're all sliced evenly. Now, here's the, I think, one of the biggest, best features of this machine. You see, these all these blades are self-contained. So if you don't want to slice, you take this one out, and then, so let's say, for example, you want to ah. do a, a ripple cut. Now you can slide that one in. Or you can do the, uh, well, here, we've got the little grater. So now you can grate ah. cheese, you can grate potatoes for potato pancakes Carrots. or hash browns. But I like the slicing insert and I want you to notice there's a little track or a tray right here on top this one has the julienne teeth so you saw what I did with that uh, with that uh, onion I sliced it and I want you to see this too because I'm going to show you two different ways that, and what made these machines famous actually over a hundred years ago in Germany the first original mandolins mm -hmm. were made from doing cabbage for, for uh, sauerkraut you're going to love it for long oh my stringy gosh, look coleslaw at this. hey on taco night do this with a head of lettuce for, for with your iceberg lettuce on taco night do you know how much you <laughs> save for making your own cabbage for oh i know law when you buy it this way in the store it's a dollar 39 a pound yes. right across the aisle you buy it by the head for 39 cents a pound so 
let's I mean, go, let's just do this very quickly because I know what's going to happen here. It's going to explode in a minute. Everybody's going to say, <laughs> I want the white. I want the red. If you bought the red air fryer before it sold out, get the red. Because you know what? You're going to want to use this for making air fried french fries. Oh, yeah. Air fried vegetables. Air fried grilled um, onions. You're going to have so much fun. So it comes in white. It comes in red. We have black. And I love this kind of chartreuse green. We're calling it green. They're beautiful. And I love the fact that John has shown you that all the blades stay self-contained in the unit. Yes. So you don't go digging through the drawers and cut your finger looking for Right. Them. Exactly. Now, you see what I just did? I just flipped over the teeth, okay? So now <laughs> instead of shredding your cabbage, it's going to give you that deli-style coleslaw like you get in the restaurants. Oh. But now, I mean, with no lumps, humps, or bumps, look at this. It comes out perfect. You see, anything that grows in layers like cabbage, celery, or onions, uh -huh. when you run it through this blade with the teeth, it separates those layers, giving, giving you a perfect mince. So for tuna fish or chicken salad, for homemade meatloaf, for taco night, for homemade stuffing, oh for, for chili, if look. you just use it, I mean, if you're pl playing tic-tac-toe with a knife on an onion right now to mince your onions, look at that. The job's done so fast, Bill, you don't have time to cry. <laughs> Do you know something? I've never said what I'm about to say about a kitchen appliance at HSN in 23 years, so this is big. Every household in America, for the safety of your fingers, I know, right? for the ease in prepping, especially if you love chopped salads like I do, if you're Italian and you love making a pot of sauce, and yes. you want the ingredients really to be nice and fine so that when you make it, if you're of the Jewish heritage and you love to make matzo ball soup and you want to do carrots and celery and all that, at whatever nationality you are, whatever flavor food you love to make, you've got to have this. <laughs> we have white, we have the red, we have the black, we have the green. I hey. just you know there's so many culinary specialties, you know, by nationality. And so many of you are watching this thinking, I want to make that. Look at that. How much time would it take you to chop that much celery at home with a knife? And who wants to take out a heavy electric food processor just to chop up a little bit of celery for your stuffing, Flawless. for soup, stews? And, and, but watch this, because different angles will give you different cuts, too. So instead of running your whole bunch of celery straight up and down like this where right. it'll chop, if you want a julienne celery for stir fries uh -huh. or for wok cooking, run it through on, a, on an angle like this, and you make your celery spears for your and stir fries. And you can use your There's gadget <laughs> with this as well. Yes, when you get down close to your fingers, See? Use that safety holder. And it's other the same machines thing. don't save the end. I like that it saves yes. the end. That's the, the best part about this is it'll take it right down to the end. Put a carrot in here. Now, it makes sense. If you run a carrot through the machine straight up and down like this, right. you're going to get short little carrot sticks. So if you put it in the safety holder on an angle and run it through the machine on an angle, you're going to get longer carrot spears for your stir fries. And when you push down on that button on the safety holder, it feeds it down to the end so there's never any waste. Every I mean, bit of <laughs> carrot was used. Right. And you know what? Instead of carrots, if you've got kids at home, hey, listen, just for the french fries alone, I, th I mean, th think about it. Uh, <laughs> how much how do you spend you just made on these frozen french fries. french fries? And you put those Look. in the Philips air fryer, they're done, they crisp up in seconds. I mean, it's done in seconds. But you know, th this machine does so much more work than one of those electric expensive machines, and I haven't even shown you the other two blades. Here, let's flip this back over, okay? We'll put, put the uh, back up to the slicing. We'll take the slicing insert out, and we're gonna go down here and pull this one up here, because if you do any pickling, uh -huh. you're gonna love this, because it gives you that ripple cut on your cucumbers for cucumber salad. I, can you see how that works? It gives you that ripple. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So for, for making ripple potato or chips. pickles. Yeah, for pickling. You do that with zucchini, apples, carrots, pears, potatoes. You get that perfect ripple on there for homemade rippled potato chips. And you know what you pay for <laughs> right. waffle fries when you right. go to, you know, that place that you drive through. I'm going to tell you something. I know. You put that in that um, Phillips air fryer and you put a little seasoned salt on it a spritz of oil. You're gonna have the best ruffled fries you've ever put in your mouth. Look at now, that. let me give you a heads up. There's only 600 of the red remaining. Like the air fryer, the red is outselling the white, the green, the black. For $20 or two flex payments for $9.98, save your fingers, save the aggravation, save the tears of cutting onions with a knife. 
and try it. It has, you have nothing Listen, to lose but the grief. Try your apples this way too. Make apple chips. If you have a dehydrator, you'll love it. They'll all dehydrate at the same time because you can see how this machine is a precision tool. It slices everything the exact same thickness. Perfect. But with ripple slices like that, it's fantastic. In fact, a bowl of melted caramel, okay? You melt some caramel in the microwave. Yes. With those ridges on that apple chip, the kids can dip that in the caramel and make their own caramel apple Yummy. chips that way. <laughs> or you know what? What a great what an, idea. What an easy way to make apple pie. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. That when you make it and you cut them in half and you throw them into the mix with your, you know, vanilla and with whatever you're putting into your apple pie mixture. Okay, with everybody shopping, we've only got about 2,000 remaining. I'm going to encourage you to use Express Automated Ordering or go to hsn.com, get it into your shopping cart. If you're calling one of our friendly sales reps, if you love cooking but you hate kitchen prep, the kitchen master is the answer. It's like having a sous chef in the know, kitchen with you. Right? Here, watch this, because for grading alone, you know, we mentioned this earlier. We've all got one of these old four-sided knuckle butchers at home, right? Yes, we Where, have. you know, if you slip on that, I mean, can you imagine what your knuckles hitting that? Oh, man. My grandmother well, used to say <laughs> when she would make potato pancakes, yeah. if you don't get a little bit of your knuckles in there, you're, you're the, the, <laughs> the latkes aren't going to taste as good. Well, look at this. With the grater now and that bowl, you can grate potatoes for potato pancakes cakes or hash browns. You'll grate sharp cheddar cheese, Parmesan cheese. You'll grate carrots, coconut, chocolate. Grate zucchini for zucchini bread in seconds. And when you get close to your fingers, you have that safety holder so you can't cut yourself and you won't waste anything. And everything, Bill, goes inside the bowl. So now, look at that. You've got a whole bowl full of, great, <laughs> of grated zucchini for zucchini bread or zucchini muffins. Here, you want to make some hash browns? Sure. I love hash browns oh, in the morning. Gosh. But look, snap this over this bowl How and I'll give you a tip. How many go to the store and they buy frozen bags yeah. of hash browns? Right. That's now insane. you can make them fresh. Go to the pantry, grab that that potato that's been in the pantry, and just brush it across that plate. And I'll hit a little tip for you too, folks. At home, if you put a little bit of really cold water in this bowl, yes. lay it down flat on the countertop, and then grate your potatoes into the ice cold water. The potatoes it takes the starch out of your water, so they won't turn brown and clump together in your frying pan. It separates all the pieces when you take the starch out. So there's a little cooking tip for you that you can try and it you know, on too. To homogenize the onions and the potatoes when you're making, if you want to make potato pancakes or if you want to make hash browns, grate them, you know, one at a time. Right. Or a couple of, you know, strokes with the onion, then you can do a couple of the potato. That way you're not mixing it in a bowl. You just put it into the frying pan, salt, pepper, a spritz, or throw it into the air fryer. I'm telling you that Phillips air fryer, which is coming up at the end of the next hour, it's the bomb. We have only 400 remaining in the red. The white is the second most popular. There's about 700 of each between the white, the green, and the black. That's why I said, please use express automated ordering. Hey, Look Bill. what John Florell did. I, I want mean, you to see this. You we've, did this in like 10 minutes. We've sliced, diced, chopped, chipped, shred. We've made French fries, coleslaw, and now I'm taking corn off the cob. Hey, if you're in the kitchen with a knife, taking corn off the cob like this, you yes. know, where the corn flies all over the kitchen, now <laughs> look, all you do is brush it back and forth across oh. that blade, and it takes four or five rows of corn off each time you go back and forth like that. You get full kernels of corn, but you don't get any of the cob in the corn. And look at this, whether it's blanched corn, cooked corn, or raw corn, it's a you'll spend 30, 40, even up to $50 on a corn stripper, and that's all it does is take corn off the cob. With this machine, it does everything. I mean, again, Bill, if the only thing you'll ever use this for, here, I'll take Listen, the bowl out, I'll this flip this blade back is over. is what I call a stripped cob of corn. And you know something? You cannot use a knife and get it that close. Right. <laughs> so take John's advice. The kitchen master is the solution. The lowest price that it's ever been. Look at that. At $19.95 and two flex payments for only $9.98. Coleslaw, hash browns, <laughs> corn on the cob. Just for chopped onion. Salad. You'll love it. Thank you, John. We'll see you <laughs> later. You. Here's our quick spotlight. The Tucson Gem Event is here. HSN's biggest gemstone jewelry event of the year. You'll find lots of new exotic gems and unique discoveries from your favorites. Victoria Wick, Colleen Lopez Gemstones, 
Chaco Canyon, Rarities with Carol Brody, and Mind Finds by Jay King. And new this year, look for a Tucson gem discovery in every show. A new item discovered at the shows in Tucson and brought exclusively to you at a great value. Plus, there will be event pricing as well as extra flex and VIP financing. For all you true gemstone lovers and collectors like myself, tune in every day at 1 p.m. as well as other hours throughout the week. Shop the entire collection now at HSC.